Well, hello, my friends, and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. So far, you've mostly seen data in the form of single elements, although pairs and triples ha can have multiple pieces of data. You've limited to combining only two or three items with them. In this section, we will start learning about collection types in Kotlin. Collections are flexible containers that let you store any number of values together. We will see the arrays, lists, map, sets, lambdas, and in details. So we will start in this lesson with the arrays in Kotlin. Arrays in Kotlin correspond to, basic, to the basic array type available in Java. Arrays are typed just like regular values and var variables and constants and store multiple values in a contiguous portion of memory. Before we create your first array, take some time to consider in detail what an array and why you might want to use one. So, what is an array? An array is an ordered collection of values of the same type. This is very important. It is a collection of values of the same type. You can't make an array that contains strings and integers. Okay? The elements in the array are zero indexed. So the first, the first element is Ali in this array of strings, this array of strings. The first element in the array is indexed zero. So Kotlin start with element zero, just like Java, which means the index of the first element is zero and the index of the second element, Bob, is one and so on. Okay, this is very important note. Knowing this, you can work out on that, uh, that the last element's index is the number of values in the array less than one. So we have six elements in this string array. The index is six minus one, which is five. Okay. All values are of type string. So you can't add non-string values like integers inside this array. Okay. So when are value, uh, arrays uh, useful? Arrays are useful when you want to store your items in a particular order. You may want the elements stored, assorted, or you may need to fetch element by index without iterating through the entire array. Let's go to our IDE. And uh, let's see here how to make the array. Okay. The easiest way to create an array is by using a function from the Kotlin standard library called array of. This is a concise way to provide array values. We start by, I will start it, store it inside a val, like uh, odd numbers equal array of. When you see an array of, so you are creating an array. Okay. Since the array only contains integer, Kotlin infers the type of odd numbers to be an array of integer values. This type is written as array int. So if we click on, uh, on control, and hover the mouse control and hover the mouse let me show you how to, this work kotlin if we hover the mouse array of you see guys this array and t so array t this is in the generic that we are going to discuss it later in the generic. So the type inside the angle brackets 
defines the type of values the array can store, which the compiler will enforce when you add elements to the array. This is called type safety, and you see them in the generics that to provide uh, compile time error, compile time error, and not run time error. Okay, so it will indicate if you add here, this will be used if we add here a string called uh, Ali or hello. Okay, this will make an error at the compile time. Okay, this is the time safety that we are going to talk about it inside the generics so you see guys when we hover also on the odd numbers it is of type and it's telling it's telling kotlin that it is an array of integers the syntax of the array type is an example of a type argument or generics that you will learn more about in the later sections it's also possible to create an array let me show you here how to print it we start by print odd numbers let me run and see and here we go we have printed the index so this is how we have some errors and you may encounter these errors these are not error we are printing the index so this is the index at is the index of this variable inside the memory okay so prints dot we can put get iterator uh, set and so on so we need to make that this works so we are going to learn it in this bit so it's possible to create an array with all of its values set to default values like uh, val um, i need uh, six sixes Okay, I can create use array and I specify here, I need six elements of this. Okay, so this will print or this will result in six, 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 and six. Okay, this you will learn more about uh, the syntax in the in the section lambdas so this is one of the lambdas that we are going to use okay as with any type it's good to practice to declare arrays that aren't going to change as constant using val for example if we are going to create uh, a constant uh, array that contains like vow vowels vowel letters vowel letters array of and we specify here a string uh, like a e i u o u okay these are constant because they are not going to be changed and vowels is an array of strings and its type cannot be changed okay but one important note that when using array of we are creating no non-primitive data like this so if we use array of and use one and then we insert one here one is represented as an object because if we see uh, uh, the array of type t this is t and it is of integer of object called of type integer and not a primitive data of integer 
When using array of and creating arrays with types such as array and the resulting array in a list object of types. Okay, in particular, if you are running on JVM, Java Virtual Machine, the integer will be boxed inside integer class. This is called boxing and in unboxing. Okay, so. Uh, using the primitive types over their boxed con uh, counterparts will consume less memory and result in better performance. Unfortunately, you cannot use primitive, uh, primitives with list. Okay, we'll talk about the list in the next video. So the Kotlin standard library contains function other than array of that makes it possible to create arrays that correspond to arrays of primitive types. For example, if I want to make the same array here, but for primitives, so val even numbers equal int array of. Okay, see guys, int array of. We store two, four, six, eight, and so on. When running Kotlin on JVM, the even numbers is compiled to a Java array of int array. This will result in compiled in int array, while the first one is compiled of array array list of type integer. Okay. Other standard library functions include float array of. You can see float array, float array of is the same. Okay. Double boolean array of and so on. So these are the primitive data arrays. And you can make an array, but this is uh, of array of objects. Okay, so using array of deals with elements are, uh, as objects, while int array of deals with it as a primitive data. And this is more faster, and we are recommending using int array of, despite array of when using primitives like uh, integers, uh, card, booleans, and so on. Okay.